Hi, I'm Jason and I'm Mr B. Hi, I'm Jade, I'm Mrs B. And we're all the way from Birmingham in the UK and we're about to sit down and watch the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way, way of life. life. I'm fixing to do a cut out on a wall in a bedroom. I got the wall open, ain't nothing coming out yet and I ain't looking to see what we got. But right now I just got a little bit of stuff masked off. I think we hit an air ball here. We got heat signature coming through this this one spot right here. I think they're gonna be between the brick and the brick veneer on the outside. But if you listen, they must be out foraging. And carrying in that pollen and when I get these out this whole wall you're gonna have to uh... here's what we're dealing with I'll show you from a distance on the with that side and backing them so you can kind of see what's going on there we located them with the flare and it looks like they're between studs but we all know on the back side of that blackboard there ain't no studs so hopefully we don't have to open up another section of the drywall the uh the heat signature was perfectly between the studs though so let's go back inside open this thing up and see what we got we know we got laying going on we know we got cone built because there's your piling and it's a real pretty day and we're working inside <laughs> And it's, was it 70 degrees? Yeah, 73. And we're stuck inside. All right, we made our cuts. I'm hitting brood way down here. We thought it was a new colony, but you see, you see larvae that I've cut, just cutting the soundboard. And there's a lot of comb in there. Huh. Dead. Take care of it. This is gonna be a, huh? You gonna be able to take care of it? Oh yeah. I might have to cut some more of the wall. Oh. We'll see once I get in there, but. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Look up in there. I, I, yeah, I see this. Good God Almighty. I get in there a while. I'll take the honey. <laughs> well, the good the good thing is it looks like they almost stop at the studs. Yeah. So we might not have to do any more cuts on the wall. I was able to save the rock in one piece, so that'd be an easy put back. Same thing on this. We're gonna pull this out hopefully in one piece. That'll be an easy put back. I'm gonna if I mean and call my son or see him come by and stop oh, by. All right. All right, we thought it was a two-week-old hive, so I brought one bucket in. I'm going to close this up while I go back out to the truck and get some more containers. All right, I'm back with the supplies I need. One was the tripod for my camera here, so y'all could watch this thing happen. Trying to pull the soundboard out in one piece. I didn't cut the top, so I gotta try to pull it all up. All the way to the top of my cuts and then fold it. And I also gotta watch for that.
while I got this in my hand, I'm going to look for the queen. If I don't see her, I'm going to vac all the bees off of this before I set it down. Because as soon as I set this down and lean it on the wall, they're going to start crawling off onto something else. There's a queen hiding up in here somewhere. I just saw her. Yo, Gary! There's the back of the soundboard. There's the hive. Most of it. I got a little bit of it in the bucket. That's most of it. I was trying to show y'all the queen when my queen called, so... <laughs> of course I had to take it. There she is in the clip. I'm just sticking her back up here with the hive just so they're calm and they don't feel like they're queenless keep them kind of keep them from running back in there or in there is, is the goal i think i'm gonna have to go further down with my cuts though this is what we refer to as a two-day-old hive <laughs> People call, and it, it's no fault of their own. They, they're not trying to pull a fast one on you. But they notice bees on the side of their house or something coming and going from someplace. And it's the first time they noticed it, so surely that's all the time they've been there. This one here, though, when I went through the blackboard with that knife to, to pry it out, uh, you know, larva and larva juice started running out before i even saw the hive so i knew it was older than what they thought but he he noticed it two days ago when it was cutting the grass and and uh well it's been like a week now i think but <laughs> yeah this is a two day old hive we get a lot of these they only been in there two days i got about a 30 inch opening there if i had to guess probably gonna go down another 12 inches or so
I just backed a bunch more. I'm gonna do a little classroom session here for you, for those of you who don't do removals much. I'm gonna show you up here on this blown insulation, that gap around the comb. They removed all that blown insulation, making space as they built. What they did was they came in, they found this space in here that they liked. They found something to build off of. This board right here was their starting point. So they built off of that board their first piece of comb and as they got that built and wanted to expand they just started tying to the brick and the soundboard on both sides and spread out and then as they got this space filled they would have just gone wide they couldn't go deep because they didn't didn't get past the soundboard so that's two and a half inches or so in that space there this hive would have been pretty dang wide if they had been here for uh, a good amount of time or they would have chewed this insulation out and got up in that space up there and there's a whole lot of space above that insulation that they could have built it's a good thing we caught them when we did though Well, there she is empty wall happy beekeeper listen to put that back i'm out